I would have never thought that coming from this pizza, we would get this visual outcome at the end. Okay, so this behind me is Prince Street Pizza. It's an amazing, super famous pizzeria here in New York City, especially for one thing, their spicy spring slice. Dom, the owner, he's gonna show me how this slice work. I've got eight hours to recreate that piece of art. Ready? Cheers. Okay, cheers, man. Mm, it's juicy. It, it definitely has like a, a focaccia vibe, almost a bread vibe to it. No? I need to make it good. I need to, to make you, you proud. I'm gonna do my Listen, best. Whatever you give me, whatever you make, I'm going to be proud of you. Because you're gonna give me your best effort, I know you're going to. What is the ball breaker? Why are you being so nice to me? I can break your balls, I can, I can, I can annoy you, I can, I can shoot you down, I can, but it, what, what's the point of it? I'm gonna knock your spirit, you're gonna, you're gonna mess up because now you're worried about impressing me. Well, there's nothing to be worried about. Um, how much can you tell me about what's in the dough? Sugar, salt, oil, water, basically the regular essentials. There's nothing really crazy <laughs> about the dough. We don't use eggs though. Take your paintbrush, give it a nice coat. I'm at the Bob Rosa pizza over here. <laughs> and now, your pan's ready to be doughed on. Press. Okay. You get all those air bubbles out of there. Because uh -huh. you don't want a bubbly pizza. And then you take the corners. Pinch, 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 so, pinch, pinch, pinch. The pinching method. I'm, I've never seen that. If you don't pinch it, it's just gonna it's gonna fold in the middle. You're gonna get a smaller pie. Yeah, you're not gonna get a solid corner. But you're not gonna get like a, like a super thin burnt edge with this. No. Not even remotely, actually. I'm, I'm thinking you use cast iron just because of heat retention. It's a, it's a factor in it, but a lot of these pans, they only make cast iron and they make it metal. Metal will melt in there. What's the temperature like? In the winter, it can go anywhere from five to 600 degrees. In the summer, it can go anywhere from 450 to 500 degrees. Okay. These are the ones that can the cast iron. You can hit somebody in the head with this. I hope it, it's not gonna happen. Okay, next, next move. What can you tell me about this sauce and what, what can't you tell me about this sauce? I can tell you it's really good and I can't tell you anything else. All right, you're gonna take one big scoop of the sauce, even it out, then you're gonna give it an even coat on that side, and now your sauce is done. Now you gotta layer with peps. You put, you put that much pepperoni on the pizza? It's not as much as you think. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more. So that's how much pepperoni you put on this pie? Yes, and now we got to put the finishing touches on it. A little, bit, a little bit of grated Pecorino Romano. See how it's golden brown? It's not really burnt. There's no blackish. Thank you, Dom, so much for this. So we see us in six hours, okay? And you're gonna be tasting the pizza I'm gonna make. Oh yeah. You could be worried about something. That I make a better pie at the end. Now this guy wants me to break his balls over here. I've been nice to him, and then he just shits on me. Right, so I, I am arriving at the test kitchen. I think we have six, maybe five and a half hours left. Let's get on with this. Let's make probably four different doughs playing with two variables. The first variable we're gonna play with is the dough hydration. For these two, I'm gonna go 57% hydration, which means that for 100 grams of flour, I would use 57 grams of water. And now for these two, I'm gonna go higher in terms of water content. So I'm gonna go 67% hydration. Usually when I'm making pizzas, I try to use the least amount of yeast possible because I think it's messing up with the flavors. But here, I've got a very narrow time frame. So I'm gonna use quite a, quite, quite a bit of yeast just to make sure that I get the proper rise. Let's make a down of dough. My four different batches are uh, more or less done. I can already see that some of them are more active than the others. Okay, time to tackle the sauce. So the onion just brings an underlying structure to the sauce. It would be very fun if the guy just takes a bite into the pizza at the end and just go like, it's too oniony. <laughs> I don't feel super good about timing at the moment. Dom is supposed to show up in about two hours. The sauce alone 
needs two hours. That's great. It's time to shape the pizzas. So this is A1, uh, it's 57% uh, hydration, it feels soft, and it's the one where I didn't use that much yeast. I'm trying to, to get to the edge. There is this pinching on the side that is very important. A2. This one has more yeast and that definitely makes the dough softer to work with. Now this is working better. Now the first wetter dough. Oh. I feel like it has more spring than the previous one, which is odd because I thought it would be otherwise. We have one hour left and I'm still spreading dough inside those sheets. I'm gonna start with the big one. It's spreading out easier. So using more yeast, in my, in my case at least, really is a key. Just gonna have a quick look at the temperature. I'm at 560. It's gonna work. This is the process we're gonna follow. I'm gonna bake all four of them. I'm gonna pick the best. A1, A2, B1, B2. Mm. Nah, I, I, I would call this one not good. This one is nice. It's a game between uh, A2 and B2. So let's build two mini pizzas and see which one we are gonna pick at the end. Cheese first. Sauce. Pepperoni. Finishing touch. Let me introduce you to A2 and B2. The strongest contenders so far. I can't believe I'm, I'm gonna say this about pizza, but I gotta be strong. There is definitely some good crisp on these. We got, a, we, we got a winner. I think this is A2. Let's go. Okay, good. Wish me luck. Dom should be there any minute. In fact, I think somebody knocked on the door. Ooh, the stress is on, man. Welcome. Welcome. Was that provolone? I don't think so. I think it's mozzarella cheese. It was advertised as mozzarella cheese. What you got? I don't know. I. It's not right. This is more on the monster side. This cheese. Ah! Listen to me. You want some friendly advice? When you want to get Italian products, you don't go to a Whole Foods. You go to an Italian. Delicatessen, you go to an Italian market. Let's wait till you, you taste the pie. How are we looking? I'm gonna hand you the slice. So you got a bottom that's more focaccia like I told you about. You have a very airy middle. Your crust looks very nice. All right. I think for the first time you did a, a very good job. Key fact is that I can tell you right off the bat, your dough has too much salt. Oh, wow, wow. You did get a very good consistency with your dough. It's not as like crispy as mine, mm -hmm. but still, it's very light, it's very airy. You still get, you're still getting a good crunch. I'm not a big fan of the pepperoni of choice that you use. It's, it's also adding to the saltiness. And let me ask you a question. Number one question of the day. Did you have fun? Yes, very much. That's all that matters. So much fun, so much fun. As I long know. as you're having fun, that's all that matters. If you're not having fun doing what you're doing, even if it's French food for you, pizza for me, this goes out to anybody that asks. If you're not having fun and loving what you're doing, there's no point to do it. Yes, thank you, man. Much it's love. a pleasure, it's a pleasure. You're invited to my mother's Sunday dinner now. Oh, Now cool. your family. Oh, yes. Victory. Thank you, man, so much. <laughs> Anytime. Thank you. Man.